Hello, you got score. Welcome back to Ghosts and Goblins Part 4. This level isn't that bad from what I remember. It's just uh, level 3, level 5, ugh, and level 6 that are the, the hard ones. I don't know if it's intentional, but if you look in the background, it looks like a crowd of people. Just all watching and laughing. Laughing at my misery. Oop. And down the hole. back cloud come on Her this is one of the few levels that actually has a one-up in it right there <laughs> you don't see those anywhere else Oh, come on. <laughs> Fudge. I don't even know why I went for that. I'm wasting time. Awesome. This, I remember, just has imps and a couple red devils, but they are persistent. Yep, fire, pillars, and there goes my clothes. The boss from this level, I believe, is just another dragon. Sugar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm a frog. Oh no. I'm a dead frog. I'm a dead frog. Mm. Oh. Well, I think I started the bridge though. Yeah, I'm at the bridge. Thankfully, because that cloud part is just, uh, even though it's not difficult, it's just annoying. It is just annoying. Yeah, 
Okay, don't come up under me, please. That's fine, too. Oh, goodness. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, come on, come on. <sighs> okay, now it's dragon time. Where's the dragon? <laughs> that was weird. That was close. Come on. Oh. <coughs> huh. That would have been so cool if I uh, got out of that without a scratch. All my fancy hopping around like a lunatic. Okay, okay. Okay, calm down. Mm, my bad. That was my bad. It's weird. Do you have to pick that up for the dragon to appear? Or was that just like a glitch? I'm dead. God, that's so weird. Ooh. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for going away by my knife. Thank you for going into the trajectory of my knife. Huh. Ah. We got this. It's okay. We don't got this. It's okay. Oh, man. So it's almost Halloween. Oh, uh, my second favorite holiday of all time. Just candy, spoopiness. It's just all fun stuff. Oh, okay. Anyone have any favorite holiday memories of Halloween? You just drop those in the comments. Like if you had a favorite kind of candy or the favorite route that you used to go on with your friends, favorite costume. I remember my absolute favorite Halloween costume was being the Black Ranger from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. They did not have any of the Green Ranger, who is my other favorite, but they had the Black Ranger. What hit me? I mean, because the reason why I like the Black Ranger is because he had the coolest weapon. It was an axe that was also a shotgun. I mean, that is just so metal. Ah, jeez. I was really into Power Rangers when I was a kid. I ended up falling out of the series when they stopped being the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And they, I think it was Zeo or Neo that they went to after that. I just, I lost all interest. Moved on to other things. Plus it was weird because I was around that age where it was uncool to like kid stuff anymore. Even though I was still very much a kid. But I remember that year in particular, it was so cold that it was snowing. And so I was wearing my Black Ranger costume and I had to wear a coat over it. So it's like you couldn't see what I was at all if not for the mask I was wearing with those big doofy eye holes. I got a good head start on him. Ah, I should have jumped forward. Uh, this game, much like Castlevania, you had to basically commit to your jump. If you jumped straight up, you were jumping straight up. If you jumped to the right, there was no seat like this. I can't move once I jump. I can only change which direction I face. If I had jumped to the left, I would have secured victory. But it did not work like that. You also probably will not see me play Castlevania on this channel. Uh, huh, I probably just doomed myself for a future request. Uh, Castlevania is another one of my longtime nemesi. Nemesi. Oh, no, not you two. Oh, that imp threw me off. Mainly for the level with... The Medusa heads, the axe throwers, right before the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper just ends me.
I have beaten Castlevania once and only once, and not through the second trial that you have to go to. That was a common thread in video games back then. It was beat, you have to beat the game twice to actually beat the game. Uh, Super Mario Brothers, Ghosts and Goblins, Castlevania, just a few examples. Because they really couldn't add a whole bunch of levels, so they just cycled the levels, making them harder each time you went through to extend gameplay as long as possible. You don't really see that uh, tactic done anymore. That's something that died with the NES. I can't really say that it died with the Super Nintendo either, because Super Ghosts and Goblins works in the same fashion where you have to actually beat the game twice in order to actually beat the game. Thankfully not every game worked like that because it would just get really annoying. There are other games that once you beat it you get perks for playing the game again like in Super Mario 3 and when you beat the game you got your entire inventory was filled with P-Wings. So if you wanted to just cruise through the game you can cruise through the game. Okay, we got this, this time. Let's see if I can do it without getting hit. Because I'm going to have to be doing that later anyway. Yep. Huzzah! Okay, get buckled in for a few episodes of this level, because... This one is just hell. These next few levels are just absolutely ungodly. Okay, so thank you for joining me. Please tune in next time for score plays as I lose my freaking mind. Thank you and have an awesome day.